Hi, my name is Chris Morningstar. I'm the chef owner of Tureen Restaurant in Los Angeles. And today, we're gonna do one of the most classic sauces of all time, the bechamel. So I'm gonna start with my butter. I'm gonna put about two ounces of butter in here. Let it melt, but don't cook it. Don't make it brown in any way. So now that our butter's melted, we're gonna take about two ounces of flour. We're gonna drop it in all at once. And then we're gonna whisk our flour into our butter until we get a smooth paste. We wanna cook this for about a minute. We don't wanna get any color on it, but our goal here is to cook out just a little bit of raw flour flavor. So now, we're gonna take our hot milk. This is one of the steps that a lot of home cooks don't know, is by adding hot milk, we're gonna allow our roux and our bechamel to heat quicker, which will help prevent it from burning. And as I'm doing this, I wanna stir it so I can get all the lumps out. It's really important when we make our bechamel that we bring it all the way up to a full simmer because the flour will get to its maximum thickening power once it gets to a simmer. And while it's doing that, we're gonna season it and we're gonna add our nutmeg. Nutmeg is one of those spices used too heavily can fill a dish, but it is amazing and really, really important to bring things like bechamel and cheese sauces to life. When it's done, it should also be thick enough to stand up. From here, if you want to make macaroni and cheese, throw a ton of cheddar into it, throw a ton of Gruyere cheese, let it melt in and toss it with your noodles and pop it in the oven. You're ready to go. For Playboy.com, I'm Chris Morningstar.